Hi everyone and welcome back to Roll the Credit. My name is Hannah and this is a channel for everyone who's interested in film, TV and pop culture. Today we are going to be talking about a play that is currently running at the Noel Coward Theatre in London and it is all about Eve starring Julian Anderson and Lily James in the main roles. I saw this performance about two weeks ago now for my birthday and I was actually quite surprised at how good it was. And I'm someone who doesn't really go to the theater a lot, but I love, love, love Gillian Anderson. So it was a guaranteed success for me. And I'm just really happy that it didn't disappoint me because sometimes when you have a favorite actress or actor or director and you watch something that's a little bit different to what you've seen them in before, sometimes you do end up getting a little bit disappointed, but Gillian Anderson is a master at theatre. She is absolutely stunning when she's on stage and doing her thing. I have previously seen her in Streetcar Named Desire, but I saw the like National Theatre live performance and not actually saw it in the theatre. And she is amazing. So we're going to talk a little bit about Gillian Anderson and her amazingness and also discussing obviously the entire play and the an ensemble and just the sonography and everything about All About Eve. Before I get going to that, if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more of my reviews and live reactions to watching TV series and films for the first time, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So yeah, let's get into discussing All About Eve. So I kind of went into this play and performance only knowing that it was about this woman and her understudy. That was all I knew and that is pretty much what the play is about. So it is called All About Eve and Eve is played by Lily James and she comes into the life of Margot. I can't remember her last name. Margot Channing. She comes into the life of Margot Channing who is a Broadway star and a sensation. She comes into her life after one of her performances. Eve has been standing at the stage door and has been to every single performance that Margot has done. And she starts telling her the story about her life and how she aspires to be Margot. And it's just, it kind of takes on from there. Margot kind of takes Eve under her wing and lets her come into her home. She stays in her house and comes to the theater with her to work there and eventually she becomes Margot's understudy. So in the beginning you kind of just feel that, okay, Eve is a huge fan of Margot and she just aspires to be a good, as good of an actress that Margot is. The further along in the play you get, the weirder it starts getting. Margot has a boyfriend who is a lot younger than her and Margot is actually in her like prime years so she is getting a little bit too old or well, she feels that she's getting too old in her world or in her like in her career and that seeing Eve coming up and kind of flirting with her boyfriend she does get very very insecure and when her boyfriend comes back from I guess LA they throw a big birthday slash welcome home party for him and it's just a very odd situation because they have all these friends and family over but Margot just doesn't really spend time with him. She gets really, really drunk and she doesn't like the life that has become of her since Eve entered her life. And I think that is pretty much the main trigger for her that since Eve came in and started becoming like more and more attached to her and starting to take a bigger role in her life or in the lives of the people around Margot. She starts feeling very, very insecure and eventually just spirals and she doesn't really trust anyone and she sees how Eve just takes and takes and takes more of what is Margot's life and she starts to hesitate and doubt the people around her and also doubt herself in who she is. Now I'm terrible at remembering things that happened while I watched them so that is pretty much the like rundown of the story. All About Eve is based on the film that was All About Eve back in the day. I think it's like from the 60s. We're gonna read a little quickly from Wikipedia. Yeah, so literally, it is pretty much what I said. Margot Channing is a highly regarded but aging Broadway star and Eve Harrington is an ambitious young fan who ins 
insinuates herself into Channing's life, ultimately threatening Channing's career and her personal relationship. And I just felt that I don't want to give anything away for the people who haven't like watched the previous film or read the script or anything like that. I don't want to spoil the ending, but such a good ending. I just thought it was like the perfect theater ending in a way because I don't really like when theater ends in like a happy like a happy ending. It usually doesn't. It's usually like it leaves you sat there in your seat with something to think about and this play definitely, definitely, definitely leaves you tons to think about. Before I get into my praise for Gillian Anderson, I just want to talk about the scenography and the production design of this because it was a little bit different from any other theatre performance I've ever seen. I think the only other play or like adaption of a play I've ever seen that was very different was 1984 that I saw in Cardiff once and I just having read the book and seen the film seeing it on stage was just such a contrast and it was a very minimalistic performance in that way um, and All About Eve was very interestingly like placed so so the stage looks pretty much like a room we open up and it's an empty room it's got three walls so obviously we are the fourth wall as always and eventually once the first opening like monologue is finished all the walls come up and we get to see there's a door at the end and on the left there's something that looks like a kitchen and there's a door there too and then there's a door on the right side the walls have, that have come up now become video screens which i thought was very very interesting and it took me a little while to understand what was happening because i was very confused essentially the video screens allows the audience to see what is happening in other parts of the play the main stage is either her dressing room or her apartment and by her i mean margot's in the back is the bathroom and on the left is a kitchen slash like entryway so during the big party when her boyfriend comes home there's a lot of action going on in the kitchen so everyone's hanging out in the kitchen drinking while all the action is happening on the main stage but then there's also action happening in the bathroom. There's a scene that I completely missed, which I'm very excited to see when I go back to watching it for closing night, but literally the entire cast is on the main stage. And for some reason, everyone was laughing. I couldn't figure out why everyone was laughing, but in on the big screen, we see Margot in the bathtub. She is wasted out of her mind and on the big screens, they show Margot in the back, in the bathroom, like falling into the bathtub. That just added another dimension to what is usually seen in a theater. And I just thought that was quite a clever way of allowing the stage to be extended in that way and also incorporating a little bit more of video. They also used it in a fantastic way by, by putting a camera in the mirror that she has in her dressing room. So when she's like looking at herself and being like, oh my God, I'm old, blown up on a big screen at the, on the stage and we get to see like up close and personal with her. And I just like, it adds a little bit more dimension to a stage play. And I thought that was quite clever. Yeah, I thought that was quite a clever way and a nice touch uh, as someone who very, very, very infrequently visit the theater. I also liked the set design and how it was all one color. So the bed and the sofa and the carpet and the walls, they were all the same shade of like a dark pinkish burgundy color. I just like when it's simplistic. I like when they don't try to add too much and like just let the story tell itself. But I also liked how it opened up to everything that was backstage that that also like the backstage area was a character of itself and that just really interests me a lot. If we go into the acting, it was just like an all round stellar cast. I don't think that anyone really disappointed me. I am gonna talk a little bit, I mean, I'm, I am gonna talk a little bit about Lily James. I'm probably not her biggest fan and I haven't really seen her in a bunch. I've literally just seen her in Mamma Mia. I wasn't the biggest fan of her performance in this show. I just felt that she was kind of bland, but it could just be that her character is not very interesting. Even though the play is called All About Eve, it's literally all about Margot. And I don't know, maybe that is like, if without giving away the ending, maybe Margot was the same 
person E was when she was young and she went to the theater and she saw this big star and then she became her understudy and kind of took over her life. I don't know, maybe that is what that is maybe why it's called All About Eve, but it's literally not all about Eve and I'm quite happy that Margot has the biggest role and that Gillian Anderson actually gets to like thrive in her role as Margot Channing because it's just like it's such a stunning role and Gillian Anderson is, as I said, amazing in this role and I'm so happy that she took on this task. I am very excited to go back to the Noel Coward Theatre and see it on closing night because it is possibly one of the best plays I've ever seen and I haven't seen a lot. And it isn't just because Gillian Anderson's fantastic in it. The entire cast is fantastic. The writing is very witty and I loved the stage setup. Even though in the beginning I was very confused and kind of didn't like it, it was fantastic now that I think about it a little bit more. Eva Van Hove just like did a really good job in directing the ensemble. Like everyone had something to do at all times and the people in the back while things were happening main stage, the people like in the kitchen, they were going full out and it was really very impressive just to see like it created the life of a party even though the party was in the back room and on the main room the party wasn't really there. It just added so much dimension to the play. I also kind of enjoy when they do break the fourth wall and they do break the fourth wall quite a couple of times in this play. There is a lot of talking to the audience, but it's more like the audience of the theater that they're doing. I can't remember which character or what significance her character has, but I think she's like Margot's manager or something like that and or the producer she talks directly to the audience kind of updating us on what's going on and what's happening it, kind of like a news way in a, in a sense and i did quite enjoy that i do enjoy when they break the fourth wall and through that making the audience feel like they are the audience like they're just spectators they're not part of the play they're just spectators um but still being able to address the audience in that way if that makes any sense i don't even know what i said but i think that made sense Anyway, yeah, Julie Nansen is fantastic. She was just nominated for an Olivier, Olivier, Olivier Award. I can't say that. So I'm very excited to see the Olivier, Olivier Awards. I'm definitely not a theater person, as you can tell. So I'm very excited to see that and I have my fingers crossed for Julie Nansen because she is stunning. And as much as I love everything that she does, I want her to do more theater stuff and also more comedies. So imagine her doing a comedy play, that would just be amazing. So that is my review and my thoughts about All About Eve that you can catch at the Noel Coward Theatre right here in London. So make sure you go see that. I think it ends on the 11th of May. I could not be more excited to see it again because it is stunning and every seat in the house is amazing. Even the cheap seats up at the top where I was representing. Go see All About Eve if you do have the time to come to London. Otherwise, make sure you catch it on the National Theatre Live performance that is on the April the 13th, I believe. Anyway, that is all for this review. I hope you liked it and I hope I didn't just random a bunch of bullshit. I think I made sense. I hope I made sense. I'm gonna find out in editing if I did make sense or not. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't, but I just really liked All About Eve and I might even make like a re-review once I've seen it another time. Definitely go check out All About Eve and that is the end of this video. If you do have any thoughts about what anything I said in this video or if you've seen All About Eve yourself, make sure you leave a comment down below and leave me your thoughts. As I said in the beginning, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe because I want to reach those 100 subscribers so I can get a custom URL. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will be discussing more film reviews, TV reviews, play reviews, music reviews, and also random film and TV and pop culture videos. So make sure you subscribe to not miss out on those. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can do that. It is at the Jurassic Life underscore, and you can also find me on Twitter at the Jurassic Life. So make sure you go follow them. And that is it for this video. We will see you again next Saturday. And until then, I don't know, roll the credits.